Hello everyone, welcome at iSorp Academy. In this tutorial, we will have a look at MySQL installation in version 8 and on using this database system for iSorp server. MySQL, or similar robust database system, is a prerequisite for iSorp to enable you such features like TeamChat, for example. However, it is actually recommended for all installations of iSorp version 12 and newer. MySQL 8 has several specifics which needs to be set correctly for iSorp to cooperate seamlessly. As a first step, please go to MySQL website and download the installation package. It doesn't matter that your system is running 64-bit operating system and there is only 32-bit installation package available. In the package, you would be then able to select specific package of the MySQL database itself. I've already downloaded this package, so first, let's run it. Confirm the setup to run on your system. And once more. Perfect. Now let's accept the license agreement of MySQL and click Next. This step is about selecting setup type of installation. We will need to select custom setup, which will allow us to select the components needed for IceVorp. In this setup, select following components to install. MySQL Server 8, 64 or 32-bit. MySQL Workbench is a set of administrative tools for easy database management. This one is optional. Now, this might be a little bit tricky. We have to look for a C connector, which may require a change within filtering. If you don't see MySQL C connector within the list, please edit the filtering to show also other releases in all architectures and categories. Now we can select also MySQL connector slash C in its latest version within the same architecture as we have selected for MySQL server itself. Edit on the list for installation. Proceed to next step and execute installation. Please note that downloading and installation of selected components may take a while. Once process is completed, click Next and proceed to project configuration. In group replication, please select standalone MySQL server and click Next. In type and networking, select server computer as a config type and click Next. Now, this step is quite crucial for you to configure MySQL server correctly for iSorp. You have to select legacy authentication method for iSwerp to communicate with MySQL correctly. Then click Next. In Accounts and Roles, please select your root password for database and proceed with Next. Windows Servers tab can be left in the same default configuration. And the next step is just about executing this configuration to install MySQL Server. Excellent! Now let's finish the installation and move to the next step which is creating iSorb databases on your MySQL server. 